So please be aware guys that this is a really early build of the game and what you will witness may not reflect the full game on release. So guys I am back with another first ascendant video. And well I've seen a lot of questions in regards to the maps, uh, what they're like, what they offer, how big they are, what can you do on them. Well today guys I hopefully can answer those questions for those wondering. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the first Ascendant, upcoming loot, a shooter. I'm definitely down for the ride, what I've played so far. I've experienced even this quite short beta, considering the full game. Um, I'm loving it. Like I said, I'm down for the ride when this arrives. So the maps, that's what you're interested in. Oh, shut up about the game itself even though it's amazing this is what we have here guys is our uh, albion so this is the social space not a massive place but it's big enough to lay out a few vendors what you need but hey this ain't what you want to see you want to see the actual main map there we go now you can see there's locked spaces here we should say deactivate i'm not sure whatever you can't get to them they're locked and there's quite a few um i'm guessing we will expand even further on uh but yes at the minute besides albion we can only go to kingston the albany mountains and red desert now albany mountains is definitely the biggest um so if i go to there and show you the scale of that you'll see what i mean so when you actually come here you have missions you can do in order uh you just follow the arrows as you can see up here just keep going back 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 Back, back, back down to the start, back, back, back up, <laughs> around your ass to get to your elbow, back, back, down and around. And all these are basically, I wouldn't say they're like public events on Destiny, they're more than that. They're like, basically run to this spot, scan this spot, uh, fight off this horde of enemies, uh, save this dude, uh, protect this spot. That's basically what I'll show you one when we go down to the actual planet, to be honest, because you want to go down there, you want to run around. So I can show you the scale. Now, it is an open world. Now, a lot of people are thinking this game's open world. It isn't, so to speak. You can't run from one map to the other. It's set locations like we see in Destiny, just not planetary. So let's just go down here. Now, the actual planets themselves are quite unique to each they look relatively different from one to the other from what i've experienced so far uh, i can't obviously stay on the full game i mean obviously when you land on the planets like in every other game there's a lot of copy and pasting in regards to buildings bushes trees and that's what we expect let's not lie to ourselves it's what we expect uh, but what you can do on these is quite a a bit now in regards to the mountain the mountains the missions Oh, bit of screen lag there, but it's a better we, we forgive that shit. So in regards to the missions, we'll just do this one. Yes, you can redo these over and over and over again if you want to. And that XP, earning that loot, earning what you want. You see here, it's sending me over here. I got to kill these ads. Just, you know, your generic kind of stuff. What you'd expect. I can't expect this will be everyone's cup of tea. Now, yes, my character's max level. These guys are low level, so I'm mounting them. Which is actually quite good. It means the video ain't gonna go on three hours. Uh, when I first loaded these up and I was a low level, level two, three, these guys were kicking my ass. But now I've got to come here, got to interact with this. And yep, go here, kill them. Go over there, kill them. Miss that and the other. <laughs> now, this is just one mission, like I said, they ain't all the same. Um, they do obviously include you having to kill things. Like I said, it's a lot of protecting, it's a lot of chasing, it's a lot of running from certain areas, getting out of there, scanning, the usual stuff, guys. You know, if you play Destiny, you play played Outriders, if you play played Anthem, if you play played the typical loot shooter, there's not much new here, I'm not going to lie to you. But we do get a grapple hook, meaning you can fly up buildings like this, which is quite hard to get used to. <laughs> As I tell you, that'll fail. Oh, shit, I'm on the wrong side, aren't I? Forgive me guys, I'm tired. I've been playing this game so hard. I gotta wait for it to cool down. There we go, we're up, we're up. Let's scan this. And then we go down here. Boom, boom. Okay, so. 
get rid of these. I think we should now finish this mission. But I'll do you over, mate. Don't even try this. Don't even try this. Okay, so a few more enemies. Jesus. Okay, like I said, this is just one mission, and there's probably. This is a bigger map load, like I said, so there's probably 20 odd maybe on here. I have to run through to get this map completed to unlock the next map. That's the way it works anyway in the beta. You have to complete this map, which will be part of the main story mission, which you'll pick up from a vendor at Albion at the social space where it's actually your job to go out and clear these, uh, these locations in regards to saving people, looking for loot. Or, you know what, you know how it goes, guys. You know how it goes. So, back to the map. So, I just done that one, then we go on to this one. And again, they just follow the arrow. But there's also teleporters, which you can go to because, like I said, this is quite a big area. So, there's teleporters you can just fly to. We also have these, which are now this one I can do. These ones you can't activate. I don't, I think you need a team of four to do this. It just will not let me uh, load it up. But again, it's a beta. Well, this one right here is basically horde mode. You'll see this on the screen now. It's like 21 waves of enemies, and it's quite difficult even for me and my power. We're both level 40s, max accounts, and these low level enemies. And there's still like level uh, wave 10, wave 11. The enemies just bombard you. You're protecting this sort of thing, this beacon sort of thing, and they're just rushing at it. It's quite hard. It's fun. It's actually it's quite good. It reminds me a lot of the early days of Gears of War with a horde mode. Uh, it's what I really liked. It's something I feel a lot of other looter shooters and mentioning no names are missing. They really are. But yep, that's what this one is. And I think every planet might have these. Uh, but we'll go for a anyway so I can show you the actual the scale. Let me just actually pin mark something on this map because otherwise I'm going to get so lost. So lost. Uh, so if we mark that, just like so, I'm just going to follow it. Where we got? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it flashing? There it is flashing over there. You see the scale of these maps and what I mean. Like I said, there's a lot of copy and paste as I would, I should expect. But it's it's quite cool. It's quite a pretty place to look at. I'm not gonna lie. So this is early acts. I don't even know if I've gone the right way. Yeah, I don't think I have. Go oh, this way. I think I have to go all the way around. And they can't jump over the building, uh, the buildings, the mountains. Can't skip over, which I wish you could have. But no, you can't. So you gotta go the long way around. No sparrows, no horses, no nothing here. Your ass has got to run. Now there's a character by the way called Bonnie. I can't equip I can't swap to her here. You can only swap to her within the social space. But she's like the flash. She runs for days, guys, at like five times the speed. It's pretty cool. Probably my second favourite character behind this one. As you know. Okay, so. You get the scale, guys. You get the scale. It's pretty big. <laughs> it's pretty big. How far have we got to run for, man? Yeah, so you can see I've just ran just from there to there. So you can imagine running up here to unlock the teleporter at a warp point. And it's going to be a trek. It's going to be a trek. Forest of life here. Something happens there. I'm not going to spoil it for nobody. Uh, but yeah, guys, you kind of get the gist here of the scale of this scale and what there is is also uh planetary main missions which i can't actually activate as well i'm not sure exactly what they are i'll show you them if i don't forget but look at this man just running for days man running for days i think we're almost there though but yeah the maps are pretty big in regards to the areas I'm not even there, am I? I've gone the wrong way, I think. Oh, there we go. There we go, we're almost there. Whoop! There we go, we finally got it. So we're about halfway across the map. So it's pretty big, is it not? And that thing's flashing, but I can't load it up. But okay, so we're going to go now to another uh, planet, so I can showcase you how different they are. That's Albina Mountains. We're going now to the Red Desert, which is the last one you will unlock in the beta. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's not as big as that last well this one here, but it's pretty big. I haven't explored it all myself. I'm not gonna lie um, But yeah, the red desert Now I know the game on release is gonna have much more 
than what I have in the bear. It's just obvious. This one's just like, as you'd expect, a big red planet. <laughs> this one, big ass red planet. That's it. I could run for days, but I'm not going to bore you with that. I'll leave you to explore to see what you can find. So just go to the top of this doom. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to go back to uh, the main hub, the social space. And I want to show you what I meant by these other. Um, it could be what I was just talking about, the ones I couldn't load up. I can't remember. So I'm actually going here to check out and learn for myself. But there is a terminal within the Albion social space where you can only select these things from there. So let's just load in and go and have a look. Uh, let's just go this way, as you can see here, this one here. It's called the World Mission Terminal, like I said. Uh, descendants are expected to carry out special missions for the peace of Ingress. Challenge and push yourself to the limit to win rewards, but headquarters ask for a joint operation as a basic. So, as you can see right there, you can't load it up, it won't let you load it up. I've tried it a hundred times, but it looks like the ones that is actually under. So it's like a two flags and a star. Or maybe, just maybe you have to load it up from there first time before you can activate them here. Yeah, it's the same thing, but it just will not let you activate it. So that's what they are. Well, there we have it, guys. Either way, that's what we have. And that is basically the map sizes and what you need to know about them, what they offer. They're all relatively the same in regards to what they offer. Uh, Kingston's a little smaller. We've still got quite a few missions you would need to do on this. Um, but yeah, and again, like I said, we've got many, many others. This one here, that one there. This there, that there. I'm guessing this big old one's going to be something. This here, this here's going to be something. And I said, they, they said they're going to expand on the game as well. So yeah, in a recent interview. I'm actually recording this on uh, September 29th, by the way. So when I say recent, it's probably going to be old by the time you watch this video. Because I can't upload it yet. But hey, either way. And there we have it, guys. The maps, what you need to know about them, their size. And well, there we have it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It really helps out if you like what you see. I want to see more. Be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.